We're going to learn how to deal with the negation phrase in our formal semantic analyses. So this is usually the first part where people get a little bit confused with lambda calculus because it's not as simple as just saying like lambda p or lambda x. There's a little bit more involved. So what are we going to do? Let's think about what not is before we even think about the tree. So if we have something like happy, we might say this is something like lambda x dot x is happy and we might translate this in predicate logic as something like happy x now when we think of something like not happy what would we get here we get something like lambda x dot x is not happy and in terms of predicate logic we'd be saying not happy x so what exactly should we be doing here in terms of the meaning of not? Well, we're also going to have to take a look at some types. So for instance, we know, I'm just going to abbreviate a little bit here. I'm going to call these ETs, ETs. So ET comma ET, ET comma ET, taking an ET and getting an ET out of it. It's going to be the same thing with a VP. So when we take a look at our negation phrase and we know that our adjective phrase is also going to be ET. Well, that's going to tell us that our negation phrase is going to be an ET, ET, and we're basically just going to be repeating everything up. Um, sorry, negation phrase would be an ET in this sense. Okay, so essentially an ET with a negation phrase ET, ET is going to be create a neg negation phrase ET. Uh, and then when we get up to is, we're going to get that ET as well. And then everything is going to resolve itself at the top when we get our E and that combines with a T. So let's see exactly what we should be doing here. So I'm going to propose that to do not, we're going to say that it's lambda P dot lambda X dot not, and then whatever P of X is. So what is this going to do in terms of our meaning? Well, what this is saying, so this is an ET, ET. It has our function here, it has our domain there, and it's gonna pop out a truth value afterwards. So what this is going to do is this is going to replace the predicate with whatever comes afterwards. So we're gonna insert a predicate into this. It's going to fill that position. It's going to be negated. And then we're going to evaluate it with X just so that way we can set the variable and also bind it with the Lambda operator. So let's see how this works. So I'm just gonna move this up the tree. So Lambda P dot Lambda X dot not P X. And now for happy, well, what's gonna be happy? This is gonna be Lambda X dot X is happy. So we're gonna move this up the tree and then we're gonna see how this is applied. So using the power of copy and paste, let's put this up. And now how is this gonna look like when it's evaluated? So let's do this piece by piece, lambda p dot lambda x dot not px. So this is our function, and what are we applying? We're applying lambda x dot x is happy. So what's going to happen in this case is that this is going to replace all of our p's. So this would evaluate to um, lambda x dot, and then it would be not p of x. So not x is happy, or we could rephrase this as x is not happy. All right, so we've done our replacement there. Uh, really, there's an intermediate step that I do want to show you. So this is like saying uh, not and then lambda x dot x, and then we're applying x to it. And if we do this substitution, we're just gonna end up with not x. So it's kind of a pointless step to show, but that is a process that's occurring with that lambda x inside. Okay, now the rest of the tree is just gonna be as normal. So is is going to be lambda p dot p, which we saw before with the copula. And there is another way to write this if you want. So we could be writing this as lambda p dot lambda x, dot px. So we could be including this component if we want to, if there's some binding reason, but for is, it's unnecessary. Okay, so with the VP, we're just going to apply things as normal. So we're just going to end up still with lambda x dot x is not happy. Okay, and then Trevor, we're going to call this t, 
the noun phrase is going to be T. So this is going to be true if and only if Trevor is not happy. So this is a bit of a shorter video. It talks about a negation on the adjective phrase or whatever's coming after it. So not a person, not happy, uh, not quick, things like that. And this is really the big thing. It's just understanding what's happening here. So you have essentially an ET, ET, but that is gonna become an ET after it splits. So we get our ET with the lambda P, we get our E with the X, and then what pops out is a truth value. So a little bit confusing, but hopefully not too bad. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them.